All right, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back. It's been a little bit since I uh, posted a video, but um, just haven't had a whole lot to post about. But I was uh, driving around yesterday, and my starter died in the Jetta. So I'm going to just do a quick video on how I'm changing it. So um, just basically battery take your bolts off take the battery out battery tray you can see it's got four bolts which i only have two of them left quick release take those out pull your whole battery tray out looking good there um then you got your starter cable which is you know normally connected like that it's uh where it at 13 mil right there Olsa tools got my ratcheting wrench set very good I'll leave in the link down below and it's uh, also 10% off with code PB10 so if you want to pick yourself up a nice set of them there you go but um anyways got the head off here's my cable you can see it's wearing out so that's great but we're gonna clean the ends off of this Get it nice and clean, but just lay it out of the way. So starter, you can see what failed. Let me see here. I do believe that's the problem right there. If I touch it, it's separated. So that thing finally let go. It's been screeching and it's all rusty and you can see like all the rust on the starter. So it's had a good life right there so take that off take your cable off this uh, slides out of this connector and you kind of start peeling back on your wires here this is that's I don't know what that is <laughs> actually but uh, I don't know what that goes to. But I don't have any weird lights on, so just gonna pretty much move that out of the way. And uh, on the back side, which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you. Let me try and angle it. I don't know if you can see back there. There's a bolt right here. I believe it's a 14. Not too sure, but um, take that off and this whole cover comes off and I'll show you what's next. All right, all right, we're back. So um, here's that plastic thingy I was talking about that holds the wires. You can see that bolts onto the starter. There's a 13 mil bolt that comes off and then it has one of these long, weird, bolts this is a let me see here 18 mil so there's one on the top one on the bottom and then the starter just pulls right on out you can see my uh clutch in there all nasty got a lot of miles on it now but um yep so here is the starter. You see just how see all the brake dust in there. It's pretty bad. Or not brake dust, clutch dust. All rusted. There's that broken wire. And here's a new one. Nice and clean. The only thing I don't like about this. This wire looks really thin. I guess it's probably like an eight gauge, I would say. Whereas this one is, I guess it's hard to tell cause it's all split apart now, but I feel like this is more like a six or a four gauge, but I don't know. It's what they recommended. So that's what we're putting on. You can see there identical same thing the only thing you want to check before you start messing with this and 
possibly hurting your starter or not your starter your flywheel is the teeth you can count them so do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten teeth i'm gonna grab the new one we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten teeth so same amount of teeth you can stand them up next to each other look at them they look pretty much the same and then the last thing you can do which is gonna be hard with one hand but i'll try it take your teeth and make sure they roll over this without like jumping out to make sure they're the same pitch and everything so you can see it fits right in there smoothly you can see if i hold it back I uh, can't really get to focus in there, but they are the same teeth. So this is our starter then. So we're going to get under there, show you how it fits in there, put a bolt in, and then we'll start tightening everything. All right. So under the car, got a jack, jack stand, pretty sketchy, but it's fine. Um, there you go. You can see my clutch in there now. It's got 40,000 miles on it. But um, here's the spot. You got your power steering line kind of in the way. Let me zoom out here. There we go. Uh, power steering line, which is kind of in the way, but you can fish it right through here. And um, then you got your, your bottom bolt right there. So I'm going to lay you down. Hopefully you can see this, and I'm just going to fish it up in there. Just like that. If you get on through, toss it right in there. Just kind of finds its home. With your bolt. Just wiggle it till that goes in. Just like that. Snug this baby down. Which we're only gonna do till it's like almost snug to this. You don't want it too tight because there's well, there's a little bit of movement in the starter. So we want to make sure it's even up top so the bolt lines up before we snug everything down. There it is. A little bit of movement left. So we're perfect down here. Hopefully you were able to see that. And we're, uh, we're going to go up top, get the top bolt in, and then we'll snug both of these down. I believe they go to the same as the bell housing bolts for torque, which I think was been a couple years now i think it was like 45 foot pounds but i could be totally wrong on that doesn't matter too much i'm just gonna go till it's snug and i know it's not gonna back out but we're gonna go up top now all right up top this is the other thing these bolts are um you can't really tell but it goes from one size up to a little bigger so it pretty much aligns the starter So up top, just kind of pull your wires back, careful of your reverse sensor, because I broke that before. Try not to bang into it. Feed your bolt in and start tightening it down. Send it on the line. There it is. So then I'm gonna go to the bottom, snug it with a ratchet, come up top, snug it. Battery cable, starter clip, put the uh, bracket back on, battery, and then we're gonna give it a little test. So we'll be back in a few. All right, there it is, back together. Uh, batteries in, trays in, cables. See the new starter right there. Harness is clipped in. All that's taken care of, so. Now we just, oh, oh no, Let's see if this piece starts, you know what I mean? So, clutch is in, key in, Let's see what we got here, yeah, 12 on, voltage is low, but should be enough to start, so here it goes, cross your fingers, does it start?
Started right up. Here we go. 13.9 volts. We're charging. It's in 1100 RPMs. Coolant. Shut it off. One more start. Listen to this baby start now. It starts way faster too. That starter sounds like it's really putting off some, uh, some juice now. One more time. Listen to it from outside. There you go. Ready? That's what we like to hear. So Quick add into this video. But I bought a motorcycle. So. I don't know if I already told you guys that or not. I haven't posted in a while, so probably not. But um, here is my 2004 Kawasaki Ninja 500R. Look at this, it's really dirty, I need to clean it. But um, here it is, yeah, looks pretty good. It's got 9,926 miles on it. Just about to finish braking for an 04. But um, things really clean. just dirty right now but it's got new tires on the well it was new tires these burn out i guess after like 4,000 miles and i'm already at 2,000 so they're getting low again new tires new vortex sprocket 47 tooth so this thing does wheelies like no problem new tire in the front this one's still holding up pretty good. You can see I definitely don't lean enough because it's only wearing this much and we still got all the way up. But um, yeah, this is the bike. New aluminum radiator. I'm gonna start doing, as I get some money, little, little upgrades on it. Sprocket was first. Just did an oil change on it. Cleaned, sink the carburetors. I plan on getting a new exhaust, a Delkevic 2-to-1. I'm also going to get new hand grips that are black and green with <laughs> black and green grips and carbon fiber ends. Little things like that. Going to get probably shorter lights that are inside of here, you know what I mean? A new front windscreen because it's dirty. And I ordered a fender eliminator kit because kind of hate the way this looks so i got one that's pretty much gonna just bolt up and then have like a little metal piece that comes down to get rid of all of this i'm gonna get shorter lights for the back stuff like that but that's that just want to throw it on the channel if you guys want to see more about it his story how much i paid for it Maybe some riding videos with a GoPro. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.